When I first began to learn about the Society of Jesus, a hallmark of the Jesuit vocation, which really attracted me, was that of radical availability to serve the needs of the church. In service to the church, Ignatius and his original group of companions decided to offer themselves to the Pope to go wherever the church needed them. And as these first companions were dispersed all over the world, they realized they needed something to maintain their brotherhood over long distance. So they decided to take vows together, and in doing so, they formed the Society of Jesus. And along with their vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, they included a special fourth vow of obedience to the Pope in regard to whatever mission he would need to send them on according to whatever needs the church had. And immediately after the order's founding in 1540, two of these early, early companions were to be sent to the King of Portugal, who had requested two of them for mission in India. However, one of the guys got sick, and another early companion, St. Francis Xavier, was sent to the king instead on short notice. Thus began the extraordinary missionary life of this great Jesuit saint. The two Jesuits embarked on an overseas journey of thousands of miles and left everything they'd ever known in Europe and embarked on this mission, never to return home again. Xavier displayed a great fervor for spreading the good news of Jesus Christ and ended up establishing the first Jesuit mission in Japan and even died in service to the mission as he tried to do the same thing in China. Xavier's letters that we have tell a small part of his narrative and really show the fervor he displayed in winning souls for Christ and having, having baptized thousands of people in East Asia. Today he remains an incredible example of the Jesuit vocation of, avail of availability to the church and a desire to bring souls to Christ. And while Jesuit missions today might look a little different in today's world, and we probably won't sail the seven seas anytime soon, the society's missionary fervor still lives on and is really one of the things that I really look forward to in the Society of Jesus.